but our journey begins in Oxford. In March 2004, Daniel took us by surprise with a dazzling memory stunt. The ambition is to remember pi to 22,500 decimal places and to recite it in a live environment with invigilators who will be checking and uh, making sure obviously that uh, the recitation is correct from start to finish. Pi is the circumference of a circle divided by its diameter. It's a number with no pattern that seems to be infinite. Daniel reckoned he could reel off the first 22 and a half thousand decimal places without a mistake. One, four, one, five, nine, two, six, five, three, five, eight, two, zero, nine, seven, four, nine, four, four, two, three, six, four, eight, zero, eight, eight, one, zero, nine, two, five, nine, zero. Three four six nine zero eight five seven seven eight zero six nine nine five five seven one six eight. Two hours later, and Daniel is barely halfway. Absolutely staggering. Uh, it's so beautiful to listen to the, the flow of numbers. It's beautiful to see the concentration. It's always amazing to be in front of one of the world's extraordinary persons. It's almost religious. Zero two Quiet recitation of numbers. It's mesmerizing. Five six seven zero nine one one zero five one seven two one zero two eight seven four eight one nine nine zero. After five hours and nine minutes, Daniel is nearing the finish line. His recall has been flawless. Three five eight seven. Finished. Yeah. <laughs> It's gobsmackingly brilliant. Brilliant, yes. But does this mean that Daniel could also have learned by heart thousands of different calculations? Or does he, as he claims, have some strange power to see the answers in his head? One of nine children brought up in East London, Daniel claims that he's been able to do massive calculations since he was only four. I had... Um quite a uh, severe seizure as a very small child. A series of seizures and a diagnosis of, of epilepsy was made. His childhood fits seemed to have changed something in his brain. It's really from that time that I started to, to see pictures in my mind, images started to, to form. Intuitively, Daniel also began to perceive the patterns within numbers. Cases like this are extremely rare, yet there are others who have also suffered injury to the brain, only to emerge with a startling and often similar kind of talent. Orlando Serrell was just 10 when he received his fateful blow. Me and a couple of friends were playing baseball. I was a batter. I ran to first base, they got through the ball, and the ball hit me on my left side of the head. It was a hard hit, right up in this area right up in there, and I just laid on the ground. I didn't go to the hospital, didn't get no treatment or nothing. To his surprise, Orlando soon discovered that he could name the day of the week and recall the weather for any date since his accident. February 17th, 1980 was on a Sunday. It was sunshine and clear skies. June 3rd, 1985 was on a Monday. It was hot. March 28th, 1990 is on a Wednesday. Oh, sunshine and nice clear skies. Sunday was January hot. 2nd, 85 was on a Wednesday. December 23rd, 1992 was on a Wednesday. December 24th, 89 is on a Sunday. Cloudy. I can't explain it. It just pops right into my head. Somehow, the circuitry in his brain is computing calendar dates. What part of my brain is doing this, I don't know. Both Orlando and Daniel seem to possess special powers of perception, as well as enhanced memory. There are only a handful of people like this worldwide. 
and they are known to science as savants. The concept was popularized by the hit movie Rain Man, where actor Dustin Hoffman plays the part of a brilliantly gifted misfit. Like Rain Man, most savants lack normal social skills, often because they're autistic. In fact, the link with autism is so strong that we wondered whether it could be a factor in Daniel's abilities. <laughs> 